everybody, welcome to the detoxification conversation. I know you are here right now because you are concerned about toxicity in your environment and how it affects you and your family. You may even have symptoms like brain fog, low energy, anxiety, digestive problems, allergies, immune deficiency, weight gain, skin problems, and low mental clarity. Maybe you've heard about these toxins and symptoms and you're worried. I mean, who can blame you? There are toxins in the air, in the water, in the plastics, in the chemicals we use for cleaning. And of course, there are toxins in your food. Today we'll talk about the three lines of defense against toxicity. The first one being your brain and avoiding the toxins around the home. And in particular, we will talk about what foods to enjoy during a detox program. Then we'll talk about the three types of detox programs, which are fasting, juice fasting, and reduce calorie with exercise. And I will tell you which one of those works best. And next we'll talk about nerve function because your body does not function properly when your nervous system is under stress. I call this the detoxification conversation, also known as pure. Here we go. So what is a toxin anyway? A toxin is any substance that interferes with the workings of the body. Tequila, toxin. Tight pants, toxin. Some toxins act quickly and can create immediate symptoms. In other words, they're poisons. But most of the toxins around us act very slowly, creating chronic disease. These are hard to detect and often take days or weeks to manifest after contact. Many people will suffer for decades from problems like anxiety, acne, fatigue, and aches and pains, just to name a few, without realizing that it is because of a toxin in their bodies. The first line of defense between your body and toxins is your brain. By your brain, I mean your awareness to avoid toxins in your environment and your food. Now this isn't easy because toxins are hidden everywhere. Got one. Now I want to make one point. Please do not stress over any of this. I want you to think of this as a fun observational exercise of the different things in your life. I mean, you could stop watching this right now and go on living your life just like everyone else, or you can listen and use some of the stuff I say to encourage you to upgrade your life a little bit. So the first step, be aware of airborne chemicals or liquid chemicals in your home or your work and do your best to protect yourself so that you have less toxic load on your body. An ounce of prevention is worth a pound of cure. Easy fixes are switching to natural or homemade cleaning products. Cleaning is important to keep you and your family safe, but also be aware of airborne toxicity from sprays in your home. Using a combination of a quarter cup of vinegar, two cups of water, and a half teaspoon of dish soap to clean your counters and windows, a company called Norwex even creates cloths that clean windows streak-free using only water, and it is awesome. Vacuuming frequently to reduce dust particles reduces your exposure to airborne chemicals and allergens. So shop for a vacuum that will clean the air with a filter to reduce contamination. You can also be mindful of the paint that you use to reduce toxic fumes. You can switch to cast iron pans instead of non-stick pans. Non-stick pans release harmful fumes in the air, and cast iron pans don't. They last longer and they add traces of iron into your diet and they're better for you. Today, however, I wanna focus on how to avoid toxins in your food. Now, I've attended hundreds of hours of seminars. I've read a lot of the detox books and studied the fad diets. I won't just claim one diet is the best. I'm not like that, but there's no, there's no one best plan for what it's worth. I will give you what I believe is the common denominator. It will help you simplify everything, and that's what I'm doing. Now, I'm a little ruthless. I know, I know we like cake, and some of my best friends are bakers, world-class bakers. I wrote a successful beer blog for many years. The, the brewers who gave me stuff and invited me to parties, I love them. I love them. I love beer. But beer and cake does not make the cut. These things are maybe good for your soul, but not your body. You will know a lot of this stuff already, but maybe just maybe I will have some new insight for you. I can tell you that with everything, there is one common denominator. The goal with food is this, 
It's simple. Avoid toxins and get all of your nutrients. Not calories, nutrients. You need these micronutrients to undergo all the chemical activity in your body to remove the toxins. We can use our brains to reduce toxins and get nutrients by choosing a diet that looks like this. First, avoid allergens and toxins. Eat organic fruits and vegetables and nuts. And eat organic, wild, or grass-finished meats, unless you are vegan. And drink clean, filtered water. And that's it. Now let's get into this. Everybody's shopping organic now, so this helps us reduce the amount of pesticides and herbicides in our bodies. By definition, organic fruits and vegetables are not genetically modified and have a reduced amount of chemical residue on them. If you can't buy organic, make sure your food is at least non-GMO. GMO or genetically modified means that it is engineered to handle increased amounts of nasty, nasty, nasty herbicides and pesticides. They're nasty. The nice thing about organic is that it is not a sacrifice at all. It sometimes costs a little more than the GMO versions, but even if it costs more, you will save in the long run by cutting these other foods out. Avoid processed meats. Most, if not all, processed meats are not organic. That's too bad because I love salami. Processed meats also contain preservatives and chemicals, so read the label on these meats. They have been shown to cause an increased incidence of chronic disease. Salami, cancer. That's a, it's a tough choice. On the upside, processed meats cost a lot more per pound than whole organic meats. You will save money by eliminating them. Now here's a really interesting point. A scientist named Alejandro Junger, in his book Clean Eats, explains that when toxins are eaten, the body stores toxins in fat. Now this is how it works. Fat in the body attracts and stores toxins. Brain cells are made of fat, and so it also attracts toxins. But the body wants to protect the brain. So if you eat toxins, your body will create fat to protect the brain. That's nice. Now the same goes for animals. Any toxins an animal is exposed to get stored in its fat. Now this is a reason to avoid non-organic meats because the fats in meat store the toxins. On the other hand, the fats from organic meats have been shown to have higher concentrations of healthy fats. But good luck finding organic bacon, because I bought it all. Also, it is a good idea to avoid any processed foods, that is anything in a box. They tend to contain high amounts of preservatives and sugar, so check the label and if it has anything other than simple organic ingredients, drop it. Processed foods also tend to cost a lot more than fresh food. Now, you want to avoid allergens. Some allergens, like peanuts and seafood, are severe. This goes without saying. But many typical allergens, like gluten, dairy, eggs, and soy, are extremely common, and people often have these allergies or sensitivities and do not know. They cause chronic health problems that people think are just part of their life. Things like eczema, psoriasis, acne, fatigue, just to name a few. If you have any allergy to these or other foods, then they're toxic to you and you need to remove them from your life. Forever. Avoid over-the-counter drugs like acetaminophen. Acetaminophen is toxic to the liver and uses the same detox pathways used to remove alcohol. Acetaminophen, beer. Acetaminophen, beer. Beer wins. Avoid anything that contains processed sugar. There is high fructose corn syrup in pop, which is twice as sweet as sugar. You see, people are geniuses. They extract the sugar for, from things like corn and beets and coconuts and you name it. And there is a little sugar in just about every natural food, and my view is this. Fruits and vegetables contain micronutrients that we need to perform our everyday activities. And so we evolve to like the taste of these foods. It's like God put a little reward in things that are good for us. Now we kind of messed it up though. As humans, we extracted the sugar, first from sugar cane, then beets, and then corn, and then other things. 
and we decided to eat the reward without the nutrients. We call these empty calories. When you have processed sugar, you're not balanced. You're prone to chronic disease. And it's really bad. So avoid processed sugar. Dr. David Perlmutter calls it the most ubiquitous and urgent toxin. Dr. Mark Hyman says it is a drug like alcohol and should be treated like it. The maximum daily intake for children for sugar is about 10 grams, which is like one of those little Halloween candies. That's crazy. Sugar causes diabetes, tooth decay, heart disease, obesity, liver dysfunction. Kids are getting fatty liver and need transplants. It causes brain dysfunction, dementia. It inhibits mitochondrial function. It increases inflammation and increases free radicals. And it causes temporary joy. The answer is not to use artificial sweeteners. Avoid aspartame. Artificial sweeteners are so sweet that they make people crave more sugar. It is like throwing gas in a fire. I'm out. So what are we supposed to eat? Well, when you choose your diet, avoid allergens and toxins. Eat organic fruits and vegetables and organic wild or grass-fed meats. And drink clean water. Now before I move on to the detox programs, I want to let you know that I am planning a video called Shopping with the Doc where I will show you how to shop and how to select the best products while spending less money. But today I want to move on from the first line of defense, which is your brain, to the next line of defense, which is detoxing. There are three types of detoxing programs. Fasting, juicing, and reduce calorie with gentle exercise. Fasting is the most intense and it is definitely growing in popularity. Due to the many toxins in modern life, a straight fast for even one to five days is too intense for most people. But I've heard of people doing it. Fasting reduces the toxic load from food and stimulates detox pathways. But you do require good nutritional stores before starting. Supplements such as USANA Essentials or Greens First can help build your tolerance for fasting. As your body detoxes, it uses up B vitamins, minerals, and antioxidants and phytochemicals. So taking supplements prior to fasting is a great idea. Changes in emotion can occur while you detox. Toxins affect emotion. To reduce emotional stress, you can add solid meals, usually at lunch, to slow the process down. This intermittent fasting helps you build an emotional and physical tolerance to having reduced sugars in your body. Straight fasting can create what's called a healing crisis. This is not good. You may be asking too much of your body if you get symptoms of a healing crisis, such as gastrointestinal pain, anxiety, headaches, sleep disturbances, and pain. This is an acute stage of dysfunction and it is not good, but cravings are normal. Luckily they usually only last about 20 minutes. So what I would encourage is to have a long enough period where you have cravings, they may occur at your usual breakfast time or snack time, and to learn to overcome them. It usually only takes about 20 minutes but this strengthens you mentally as well as your physiology. The irony is we tend to crave things that, we are, that are toxic to us. The obvious things are caffeine and alcohol and sugar, but even people with gluten allergies crave gluten. So it is important to give thought to what foods are right for you and which ones are controlling you. Now we've taught ourselves that being hungry is an excuse or a reason to be grumpy or emotional or anxious, but is it really? Modern life has too much emotional toxicity, and this is topic enough for another video, but with regards to fasting, you can imagine, and if you've ever fasted before, then you know, that for, you know firsthand that it is as much an emotional journey as it is a physical one. The old idea of six small meals per day, really that did nothing more than appease our frequent cravings for sugars and other substances that are toxic to us. Emotional toxicity due to mental stress is also real and creates difficulty with your ability to detoxify. I want to imagine now that you get home from work, you've had a hard day, what do you reach for when you get home? What's the first thing that pops into your mind? Now what if you're tired and you can't get out of bed in the morning? What do you think of to get out of bed? If your answers are a drink and a coffee, respectively I hope, then I am not judging, but you can see the relationship between emotions and mental stress and introducing toxins into your life. Now a fast helps you break your automatic habits 
helps you become more aware and helps you take control of and change your life the way that you want. Now, nutrient-supported detox has been shown to be safer, more comfortable, and more successful than straight fasting. You need these micronutrients to undergo all the chemical activity in your body to remove the toxins. One and three day juice detox programs are available at spud.ca. I've provided a coupon code for you. Or you can juice at home. I will definitely provide more content on another day on juicing at home, including the type of juicer and different recipes. Juicing allows you to extract more micronutrients from the fruits and vegetables and you are able to drink more micronutrients because juicing removes the fiber. The nice thing about smoothies is you get the fiber. Smoothies are as good as juicing but have more fiber and this means fewer micronutrients per glass. If you want to feel full, full, drink smoothies. If you want more micronutrients, then drink juice. Greens mixes such as Greens First, my favorite, and Organic Greens and Reds from Douglas Labs and others are available on my online full script shop. Greens First gives you the nutrients you need that are extracted from 15 servings of organic fruits and vegetables to help you get through the detox process. You need these micronutrients to undergo all the chemical activity in your body to remove the toxins. Supplementing makes it all so much easier and more comfortable. So we have two types of detox programs. Fasting of different durations, either mornings or one to three days, and juicing, where you're drinking juice at different parts throughout the day. And really, this is kind of just a gentle form of fasting, isn't it? But the last type is reduced calorie with gentle exercise. In a Mark Hyman study of 600 people, reduced calorie detoxing for 10 days has been shown to create a decrease of 62% of all symptoms from all diseases. Created a two inch decrease in waist size, gave people increased energy, it decreased joint pain, it decreased the incidence of FLC syndrome, which is feel like crap syndrome, and there is a strong rationale that the first step in every health process should be to detox. Nutrient supported fasting is very popular now. People will do an intermittent fast until about noon. They will then eat an organic meal at lunchtime and supplement with something like USANA Cell Essentials or greens first to get their micronutrients. Then they'll eat an early dinner of organic food and drink bottled water throughout the day. Combine this with gentle aerobic exercise which stimulates the NRF2 pathways to stimulate the antioxidant response. It's really a neat combination of all of the above. Now I have one question, the last big question. If you're taking nutrients and you're not getting nerve supply to your liver and your gallbladder and your bowels, do you think those nutrients will work properly? Do you think you will detoxify properly? If daily stress and misalignment are putting stress on your nervous system, will you function at 100%? What are your thoughts? It is so important to have a chiropractor that is checking your spine for subluxation regularly so that your body is functioning properly during your detox programs and all the time. Detoxing is good for you in the long run, but it is also stressful emotionally and chemically, and a chiropractic adjustment will help you relax through it all. Visit unavitachiro.ca or click the link below to schedule now. In the near future, I will be providing more content on juicing, including one and three day juice kits from local juice companies, how to make smoothies, how to make the greens first power smoothie, and I have another mastermind video called Bang Head Here, Six Ways to Reduce Emotional Stress. And as I mentioned earlier, a mastermind video called Shopping with the Doc. I'm Dr. Barone. Have a great day, and may our God go with you.